How's everybody doing? I am back from Palm Desert. Man, did I have a great time. I'm all loose and ready to go. You guys, I have a recipe I wanna make with a brand new product. So you guys, I need to go shopping today and I need to go to Costco to get some more um, ground bison. So come on everybody, let's get this day started. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. You guys, Felicia and I had a marvelous time in Palm Desert. It was perfect weather. The day we left, it started raining and it followed us all the way here. We had high winds, rain and everything else once I got home here in Arizona at night. but. We had just a really nice relaxing time. I'm telling you, the, the kinks and knots that I had are gone, and that is really good news. Now, Mine are back. I was keto when I was there. I ate a lot more vegetables. I had a lot more salads. I had my meats. One thing I did do is we were given, we were gifted two really nice bottles of red wine for uh, the holidays. And Harry does not drink red wine. And I only wanted like a glass of oh, red you, wine. You got it from your jewel. So, yes, I did. And so I brought them with us because Felicia loves wine. So we had that wine while we were there and I had about a glass of wine a day and at night so I did have wine and we can have wine and we can have spirits but I just wanted to share that with everybody I got one thing to say what didn't mean to interrupt oh it's pretty bad when your jeweler knows you well enough where he gives you bottles of really nice wine yes look wait show him your shirt I oh, brought yeah, you man. check out my shirt Aliens don't believe in you either. Yes, indeed. Here you go. Did you get it? Yes, I did. I'll try to fix it so you guys can see it. What? So we kind of match because I've got my galactic space cowboy jacket yeah, on today that, because all... it's freezing cold. Those used to call us space cadets. This is my space cowboy is the name of the jacket. The boots that match our Space Cowboy or the Galactica, um, whatever I have, Galactica Blue Space Boots yeah, that I have. Something like that, right? Oh, come on, this camera. is a, uh, it's Double D Ranch or uh, El Gringo. Anyway, just wanted to share, Harry bought me this. He's such a nice boy. Actually, what happened well, we is had to have it made. I found out there was a jacket out there that matched my cowboy boots and um, Boot Junkie, who I bought these little moccasins from, said, you know what, give them a call because they may custom make you one. If they have it and they have the, the, the leather, because it's lamb's leather and the coloring there, they will make it for you. So I called them up and yes, indeed, they, they would make it for me. Took me two months to get it. Yeah. My peacock boots are still being made it's the same by people El Gringo too. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. So my peacock boots will, should be here March, I think, end of February, March. You show them the back. What of this? Yeah. I like it because it's got spaceships. This is why I wanted it right here. I love this and the spacey stuff. See, right if you look right here. See, there's this little spaceship going to Saturn. The cactus. And cowboy stuff. And when he's, you know. I have boots that match, in case you guys didn't see that picture. I have it. I posted it on Facebook. Anyway, but I wanted to wear these moccasins today, and it's cold outside. And it has been, it didn't rain today. Which and actually, it's sunny, but it's still good. But these are my El Vicaro um, Aria. Yeah. From Boot Junkie. And I got these on sale. Yes, I did. They were 25% off. I know, man. I actually saved some money. You saved 100 bucks. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, really good deal. Actually, I had points and 25% off, so I got them. Anyway, enough about me. But um, <laughs> Sorry. I got some really good retro... 50, 60 style shirts for Harry. Um, if you guys don't know anything about Harry and I, we're very much into like uh, sci science fiction. 
and so I got some really cute uh, shirts as well. He wore one the other day, but I also got him some t-shirts that I ordered for him that came in. So I'm excited for him to have his alien. So we kind of match. I got the spaceships. He's got the aliens. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. But you guys need to go to Bashes. There's some things I need to buy for something Wait I want minute, to make. Wait a minute. You promised that you would take me someplace because I was a good and I sat up. So I get to go someplace. Well, Mick, come over here and say that again. Why? They heard it. Why not? Did you not hear it? I promised. What did you want to eat, Harry? Uh, chicken wings. Yeah, Harry wants chicken wings, you guys, and he was very good while I was gone. I'm, I'm very good. So I'm he wants chicken. chicken wings. So we're gonna go have chicken wings, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna go to Bash's, Costco, chicken wings, and then I'm coming back and making something. But I'm not gonna share right now because I am creating it in my head. So it's something new. Using something new. Okay. Does that make sense? Sure. I'm making something new with something new. Don't try to make there sense out of it. Well, yeah, I make sense. What are you trying to say? I don't make sense. Now, what I want to go back to before Harry was interrupting me was that I gained about five pounds. Five pounds of water weight, I'm thinking. So I'm not worried about it. We're just right back on track. I don't have a calendar yet, but basically what we're doing is basically the same calendar. We really like doing the protein sparing modified yeah, fast every other day. We like doing um, um, uh, like intermittent the fasting. fasting. Yeah. We like doing all those like, I like things. This. I'm gonna, I think after this month, I'm gonna step up the fasting a little more, I think. I don't, Are you? Yeah, but I don't wanna go to where it's unhealthy. You wanna do it, you know, right. I get it. You know, so, so you'll have to look into that for me. Well, I'll make a cal if I can make a calendar. If I have to fight with that program again, I'm going to go crazy. But I will try. I will get, get one. Get a program that just makes calendars. That's what I did. It's a tool that you have to download, and I have it. And I go through that. That's what I did this well, last time. Well, you're not time. doing very well with it. Thank you. Thank you, Harry, just for supporting me. That's what I'm you're supposed so, to do. You're so that's, nice. That's my support. Yes, indeed. Anyway, you guys, I'm super excited to be back home. Yes, I am. Oh, Me, my yeah, little yeah. Sally girl and Harry. Um, Harry didn't finish all his bread, so we've got bread, but I've got stuff. I didn't really stuff. eat a whole lot while you were gone, man. Seriously. I, I did know. not. I mean, they probably saw the meals I ate. Yep. Yep. Except for the one day. I tried to film everything. I think one day I got like almost, I had like a half a piece of bacon. It was a breakfast, half a piece of, no, you didn't film it all because I still have some on my camera. Yeah, that's right. If I have anything left on my camera, we'll I'll throw it, it in we'll right, throw right it in. here. Anyway, you guys. You gotta do that. That's my signal. Right there. Okay. Throw it in right there. So the gondolas are all lit up, if you can see this. And the it's just a beautiful facility. Felicia and I are done having our tapenaki. It was delicious. This is a strip of stores right here where they're all lit up. So we're just gonna walk by and window shop on the way back to the room. Here's a boatload coming in from outside. It's got a dock in it, so once they're out, we'll be getting in. We're on the boat and we're on our way to Mikado Japanese Steakhouse. We're going to go under a bridge here in just a second. Pineapple Express. Pineapple Express. Are we going to go through this? Oh, look. Oh, that means it's warm. It's a warm warm. Is it warm? 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 Yeah, yeah. Not far. Not far. Locals. Where are you ladies from? Um, this is a tapenaki. And they are beautiful in the different rooms and stuff, you guys. A small salad with sesame ginger dressing, club soda, waiting for the tapenaki to begin. They've got all the good stuff to cook with.
Volcano? Yep, that is the volcano. Oh, favorite part. How long have you been doing that? For a couple hours. Okay. <laughs> five years, five years. Did you grow up in California? Ah, uh, no. We were born there. Born there? Born there. Born there. Born there. Born there. The breakfast all night. It's old <laughs> So this is my lobster and I also got have filet mignon coming. So lobster and filet mignon. I picked the mushrooms out of the vegetables. I can have the zucchini. Some I can leave, some I can leave. Big old bunch of butter, fried in one stick. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect. Live. Yay, hey, delicious. That was our boat driver. Maybe they have one last boat ride. But this is a big lobby atrium area. And they have a Starbucks. Yes, they do, right inside. The Starbucks is right over here. So tomorrow, before we head out, I'm gonna come right over here and uh, get my Starbucks. Yes, I am. But anyway, you guys, it's beautiful. We are back. We had a great day today. We went to the Longhorn and had buffalo wings. We each had a serving. And Harry likes the drummies. I like the flats. So we swapped out. And then I'm, I'm going to share that right here. Hey, everybody. We are at Longhorns. And look at what I've got. Some beautiful chicken wings. And we tell them don't add extra seasoning because they come pre-seasoned. So we don't get the salt. But you guys, Harry's got one just like this. Yes, he does. So you guys, you gotta eat now. Got my club soda, got my chicken wings, and got my honey. Yes, indeed. So you guys. She's talking to me? Yes, I am. <laughs> gotta eat now. These are nice, fat, juicy ones I know, right? Too. They look great. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Costco to get some items, and I'm going to share that right here. Hey, everybody, we are at Costco, and Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides are on sale for $22.99. That's a great price. Normally, they're $31.99, and that is an absolutely great price. So, if you guys oh, use collagen, which I think everybody should be, go get yourself some Vital Protein. Let's go, Harry. You know, I'm feeling like some Kerrygold butter. I'm missing that really salty Kerrygold. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. $14.49 and the other is still $9.99. <laughs> but I'm going to get two of these. Okay. Because I just miss them. I know. I know. Miss them. Uh, it's, it's so true, you know? Yeah, yeah. Unless you want to put it on like some toast or something. That's why. Yeah. Because this, to me, it's better for baking because yeah. it's very mild. It hardly has no, any like salt taste. It's I almost have, like a cream I have to butter. Add salt. Yeah. yeah, I do too. I think I need a big thing of eggs.
<laughs> Where are you? You know, I didn't even think about it. The cream here is more, it's less expensive. It's, wow. How soon am I going to be making yogurt? I already bought my stuff. We have to come here when I start. I'm going to be making yogurt more, you know? Yeah. It's less expensive. Okay. Okay, so let's. Let's go see what else we can find. I'm looking for healthy noodles, but it's freezing. <laughs> oh, goodness, we have jackets on it. Oh, All right. right. It's too cold. It's chilly. Chilly, chilly. So they do not have any healthy noodles and I need to get some ground bison. So let's go in and out these aisles. They may have healthy noodles on one of these aisles because mm -hmm. sometimes they do. So let's go look. All right. Okay. Looks like it's um, spinach and bell pepper, cage-free egg white spinach bell pepper and a little bit of cheeses. Why go to all the trouble to have only egg whites if you're gonna add cheese to something? Because you know, the yolk has all of the vitamins and minerals. Yes, it has fat in it, but what's the difference between fat in the yolk and fat in cheese? Cheese fat's worse. Some new stuff. Roasted garlic chicken. Oh, you know that's got so many. Uh, zero added sugar. It's paleo, gluten-free. Really? Yeah. There's no fructose in there? Let me see the bottom. Let me see. Chicken broth. Chicken vinegar, yeast extract, salt, roasted garlic sauce, coconut milk, tapioca starch way down here. Wow, that is not bad at all. Five ounces is three carbs total. That's pretty good. What is this? This is called roasted garlic chicken. It's Kevin's Natural Foods, and it actually looked pretty darn good. Looked pretty darn good never heard of it. Must be something new. There you go. Chicken breast bites to take to work. Three carbs total. Potato starch, canola oil. No, thank you. No, 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 no. no. You're right. Look at there. I found the healthy noodles, you guys. They're back. See, you gotta look at the different aisles because where they were last time, they aren't. I love these. You gotta buy these two are delicious. Of those. I know. I was wondering. Yeah. I wonder if you can freeze them. Well, How long do they? October twentieth. Yeah, I'm getting two. Yeah, because we'll eat those. <laughs> yeah, wow! Be gone. I'm excited. One of our viewers told us October twentieth. You guys, these are the noodles that Terry and I love. Besides shirataki noodles, you guys, these are these are pretty darn good. They're uh, delicious, and Harry likes these the best. Hold up the thing with soon. Yep. Should I get Should I get two or one? I really like shirataki. Yeah, me too. Go ahead, get two. You. Well, you'll be eating these, and I'll be eating the other kind. Of course. Okay. I'll eat this too, but I'm just excited because it lasts a long time. This sliced grass-fed beef well, sirloin is fabulous. really, really good. This is really good. Like if you gotta, you gotta come up with a fast dinner. Actually, we should get this and then make what I'm gonna have. And that way, I only have to make one dish. Why don't okay. we get this? All right, get that. Cause I like it. Also. These are the best Teton, as in the Grand Tetons. 100% grass-fed beef Polish sausage. They're cooked, uncured. These are spectacular. Let me grab a package just to have for Arvita. Yep. They're great for breakfast. Make hot dog buns with my buttermilk bread and make these. Yum. Oh, let's do that. Let me have just barbecue these. Or air fry them in your case, Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air fryer. Air fryer. It's easy cleanup. My ground bison. It's the same as the ground beef, really. It's Ten cents different. What do you 
What did somebody say to do? No on it. No, well, can you hold these a second? A cheap, oh, there you only get two, and ground beef you get three. You. I don't. No, you didn't. You wadded it up. I like to watch you, you struggle. Made it, you made it worse. I can, oh my gosh, $93, that's crazy. Wagyu, $93 right there. Guys, they also have the vital proteins and chocolate. They're back where the normal stuff is. $22.99, but they also have organ collagen peptides with probiotics. Brand new over there. They're like 31. Sam? Yeah, they're $31.99. And these if you are need probiotics. Right. Okay, I think we're done, Harry. Let's get going. Okay. So at Costco, I know this isn't keto, but I got a steam and iron. It's a two-in-one. I My steam machine that I had, that the steamer, got recalled. It was like QVC or HSM. Yeah, I can't remember which one uh, Yeah, it got totally recalled. So I haven't had one. And now that they're smashing all the clothes, you know, Amazon, Timu, they're, they're, they're sucking all the air out. Everything is coming out so wrinkled that I want a steam iron or a, an ability to steam my clothes so I don't have to throw them in the dryer right away. So I got that. We're always using Sharpies. Yes, we are. Oh, Harry, yeah, Harry a, found this crazy. and I'm thinking he likes these. So we got this. He got a 14 terabyte. You guys have no idea how big that is. It's the biggest unit we've ever seen. Off storage for portable storage so we can put all our videos on here and store them in case something happens with the computer so that's a hairy toy right there no a toy and uh, then i got a um, business expense they have these runners on sale for 16 dollars and 99 cents and you guys you throw these in the washing machine yeah throw them in the washing machine this pretty well look if you look at my floor matches pattern wise i'm going to put this in uh, where we sit in the uh, other room in our den in front of the TV. I have a different one in there now and these are machine washable. You throw them right into the washing machine. The only thing that's hard to do is vacuum them because they are thin. But this will be great and we won't have the wear and tear where we sit all the time. So I got one of these because we love the one we have but the one we have is brown tones and I want a blue one. So I got that. I'm going to put that right here stay got me another thing of organic eggs got some uh teton teton waters ranch you know the grand teton mountain range tetons these are polish sausage and you guys they're wonderful they're grass fed honest and simple great ingredients yes indeed so we got those we got sliced grass fed beef sirloin it's been sous vide. Well, this stuff it's is really absolutely good. delicious. And then we're going to have this with the dish I'm going to make in just a minute. We got six, no, two, four, six, yeah. Six of the ground bison, the uh, 90 10 that we always get, that we love. I'm going to be uh, replenishing Arvita because we're going to be going here soon. We found out the Bisbee, Arizona, which is where the uh, Queen Mine is has an RV park which we did not know about so it's further southeast than Tombstone we're gonna go there that way we can leave, let Sally stay in the trailer while we do that tour that tour goes deep into the mine and you ride their car it's like a you straddle it and it's a, like a it's the old mine cars. It's the old mine cars, and you go way down into the mine. The queen, uh, you have to get uh, tickets, and it's at least a four-hour tour. So we thought we would do that. So I've got to look into all of that. Now, it does snow there, so we have to make sure that the weather is just cold and not snowy and slushy because we're going to take our Vita, and we don't want to have to deal with that. So we got to figure out when that's going to be. Sooner rather than later. And you guys, they had help noodles thank you the commenter who told me they went to their costco and they just got them in 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. These are Harry's all-time favorites. Oh, yeah, I love them. Thanks. I like the shirataki noodles. I really, really do. Um, we also like the palmini, for me. The palmini noodles that are made with uh, palm hearts of palm. Those are delicious, too. But Harry really likes these, and they have a long expiration date. October 2nd, 2024. They come with six to a pack. So I got two boxes. I'm really missing Kerrygold butter, as expensive as, it, as it's become. It's $14.29 or $0.49, cents, but I miss the taste, especially on plain items. Not in cooking, because it could be too salty, especially when you're doing keto chow with it. And the grass-fed Australian butter works better. But this is delicious. I miss it. So I got myself two boxes because butter lasts a very, very, very long time. Got another container of basically Benadryl. It's their version. And then we went to Bashes. I ran in and um, grabbed a bag of Tillamook Sharp Cheddar because I'm using this with what I'm making tonight that I'm going to share with everybody. And they have Girl Scout cookies on sale. And I asked them, are you guys still sending the troops, you know, the armed forces cookies. They said yes, so I bought four boxes for the for the armed forces because I think that's great to send to our young men and women serving right now. They can have some Girl Scout cookies and think of home. Yeah, At least exactly. that's how I believe. So I had the girls, they were all giggling. I said, pick out four boxes and oh, thin mints. And you know, they start picking out the cookies and everything. And, and um, the little girls, aren't you gonna take your cookies? I said, no honey, I bought that for the army and the Marines and the Air Force. And she goes, oh, for our troops. And I said, yes, I did. She's cute. She goes, mommy, mommy, because her mom was you know, the lady behind the counter started cracking. She goes, okay, honey, those go in this box over here. So anyway, I, I feel good when, when we get to do that. Trust me, I miss those cookies, but you know, the troops can have them. Yes, That's they right. can. Yes. Anyway, you guys, got to put this away and I've got to get to cooking because I promised you guys that I was going to make a recipe. Yes, indeed. You guys, I'm making cauliflower au gratin with my baked potato new baked potato keto chow. Yes, I am. So I have a small casserole dish that's perfect for Harry and I. I am using one pound or 16 ounces of frozen cauliflower florets. Uh, they're frozen. I've got them in a little bit of water in my pan. I'm going to put a little teaspoon of salt in here. Redmond's Real Salt. Yes, I am. Sprinkle that in there. And then I'm going to bring this to a boil and I'm going to make them soft. Because I like them soft. Where's the bright lid for this? I'm going to cover those up. Now, I think what I'm going to do is to make the potato... Uh, soup, you would use 14 ounces of warm water. So what I'm going to do is start with seven because I'm going to add heavy cream. So I'm going to get my measuring cup, put seven ounces of water in here, maybe six, and get it, get it warm. Let me see. Nope, a little bit more. And I'm going to nuke this just to get it warm. Because just like any powdered mix, it, it's, it mixes better in warm water. I'm going to get out my little whipper dipper. My whisk. I'm excited. Steve's a great cook. And I can't wait to taste his baked potato soup mix. What, what better thing to have in your au gratin, cauliflower au gratin, than something that makes it taste even more like potatoes? Yes, indeed. So I'm very excited about it. I don't want the water to be boiling, so let me, yeah. So, 30 seconds. I'm gonna put it in the pan. There's just six ounces in there of water. I'm gonna put, the potatoes in here and it's got quite a bit of sodium in it so I'm gonna have to taste before I season my 
potatoes, my au gratin, faux au gratin, right? Ooh, smell, smells like potatoes. Mm -hmm. Wow, you guys, it smells like potatoes. Look how thick that makes it with six ounces. Now, I'm gonna add some heavy cream to this. Man, that makes it nice and saucy. So, um, six and eight ounces of heavy cream. That might be too much. Let me do six and see. I can always add more. I'm just gonna put it in here. You can do half and half. You can do, um, you know, your fair light, keto, low carb, lactose free. Oh yeah, that thickens up really nice, you guys. Look how nice and thick that makes it. I'm just gonna warm it. I'm not gonna boil it. Don't wanna boil the milk. Six, seven, eight. I'm gonna put two more ounces of water. Excuse me, Harry. I know, I'm sorry. Two, four more. That'll make it exactly. There we go. What I'm anxious to do is taste this. That thickens right up. So you're going to have a nice, thick soup. So let me taste this. Oh my gosh. Good, huh? It tastes just like potatoes. Cool. Wow. It's mild, but wow. Okay, taste this, Harry. Oh, it does. It does. It tastes like potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So I am going to use just a little bit, and I mean a little bit of Redmond seasoned salt, but I think I'll wait until the end when I mix it all together. I'm going to turn this on to medium. I'm going to get a bowl to mix this in. Wow, Steve. Good job. That tastes like potatoes. Boil that, throw some bacon bits and some cheese and some chives and some salt and pepper on that and you've got a loaded baked potato soup. Just as easy as that. Wow, that tastes just like potatoes. I'm Now I'm really excited, you guys. I am extremely excited. Let me get a bowl to mix this all up in. The potato soup mixture is hot. I'm putting in about two tablespoons of butter just to give it the butter potato flavor, right, you guys? Just let that melt in there nicely. Mm -mm -mm. I am gonna use a little bit of white pepper because black pepper, if you have an oxalate issue, you should be using white pepper as opposed to black pepper. So I'll put a little bit of black pepper on that. And that's more or less to taste. If you aren't a pepper person, you don't like pepper, don't add pepper. You're a pepper, she's a pepper, hey, he's a pepper. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Hey. That's right. <laughs> Seen by Harry while you wait. Let me get a fork to chest my cauliflower out. Yes, yeah, it's just the, the guy with the golden throat. Nope, it's not quite where I want it to be. It's not quite. We're gonna add some sour cream to this, some Tillamook cheese, some bacon crumbles. And you guys, it's going into the oven. Some sour cream, like I said, just a little bit. I don't even know if I need sour cream. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna need sour cream. I'm gonna put sour cream away because that is so thick and rich. I'm gonna try it without because I used heavy cream, you know? Well, does he say to use cream or he, what is he? he? For what? To make the soup? Yeah. You mean just the soup base? It says, here's the instructions. Your choice of fat, one package keto chow, 14 ounces of warm water, blend until smooth and cook.
That's it, huh? Yep. It, cool. Uh, so I'm using it in my recipe. Normally I would make a milk and then I would put sour cream in it, but mm -hmm. this is so thick and nice. I don't think it's going to need, because I used cream already, and I've got a little butter in that. I think that's going to be delicious. I really do. I hope you guys, okay, this is what I'm going to suggest to you right now. Go down in the description below. Click on our Keto Chow link. Go right now, run, don't walk, because when people start getting it and they oh, taste yeah. the potato, the baked potato soup, I'm sure the cream of mushroom is exactly the same quality because Steve is a perfectionist and I'm saying this is amazing. Yeah. I would run, don't walk, you will be sorry. This is gonna sell out. The minute people taste this and they taste real creamy potato soup, mm -hmm. it's going to be flying gonna, off their oh shelf. Yeah, it's going to be going like So crazy. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get a 10% discount by going through our link. You guys, I'm serious. Run, don't walk, go get some. The same thing's going to happen to it as what happened to the butterscotch flavor, right? All the flavors. Don't wait. Don't sit on the fence. Get a couple. But I'm telling you, if you make anything and you like potatoes, you make any of the mock potato recipes, this is going to kick it up to an A+. Oh, yeah. It truly it is. Really or by itself down. in a mug in the morning with some cheese, some bacon, some chives. It's going to be fabulous. Yes, indeed. And thank you, Steve. Thank you, thank you. Steve from Serious Keto. Thank you. Okay, let's try this. Why aren't you guys, man, you guys are tough. You guys are tough. I want them softer. Man, hmm, this is good. This is like really good. I know, right? It's like, I want a bowl. Yes, and it's thick. You don't even need to thicken it. I mean, I did use cream, but heck, yeah. Water with that, your butter, but butter. Butter, sour cream, dollop of sour cream, some cheese, some bacon, some chives. And you've got loaded potato soup. So easy. You don't even need to put pieces of turnips, pieces of radishes, pieces of cauliflower in it because it's that good. Man, I'm telling you, I can taste the potato. Now I'm really excited. Now I'm hungry. Yes, I am. Come look. I'm just going to put a little bit of this in. I'm going to stir it around. Now I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to cut my cauliflower up a little bit better. Cube it into like smaller pieces, but not rice. You know, more potato size. Turnips, you can use a mandolin and get them nice and thin, you know, like an au gratin potato would be. And I don't mind having this. Now, I've got plenty of this left, you guys. I've got enough to have this tomorrow as soup. Think about this. You go for a morning walk. It's brisk. It's cold. It's freezing. You come in. You make yourself a bowl of Baked potato, fully loaded for breakfast. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to put just a little bit of Redmond seasoned salt in it. Harry and I like ours just a little bit saltier. Cauliflower isn't yeah, going to be I'm salty. Salt, no, I love salt. So I'm just going to put that in. Stir that up. I'm going to put some cheese in this. To begin with, I have to spray my pan. And I've got my 100% pure avocado oil spray. And I have to spray it over the sink. So can you move, Harry? Because watch out, Sally's behind you. She smells food. There we go. This is eight ounces of cheddar and it's sharp Tillamook cheddar. So I'm gonna put some in. I'm gonna put a little bit of bacon crumbs in. Oh, 
about it was like one and a half. Probably a quarter of a cup of, of bacon crumbs in there, you guys. Just barely stir it. Then pour that into your casserole dish. Now you can layer the cheese or not. We're trying to go easy on the cheese. I'm going to put a little bit more cheese in this. Just a little bit more cheese. Just kind of stir it gently in. There you go. Now, I want to put cheese on top. So probably use about could weigh that. Probably six ounces of cheese, more or less, depending on you and your family. But I've got about that much left. Probably about two ounces in here. Your little girl wants a bite. Oh, you want some cheese, Sally? Yes, I want some cheese. You do? You like cheddar cheese? Sure. Okay. There were cheese in it. Oops, I'm sorry. It's right here. I got a vacuum. No, I'll take care of it. Was that good? Mm-hmm. Can I have some more? Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You're welcome, honey. Are you glad I'm home? Oh, yeah. Okay. You give me nothing. What? <laughs> what? Here, let's put a little bit of bacon crumbs on top. You don't have to use bacon, but I just think bacon just adds a little bit of flavor to it, not well, a lot. You can't ever go wrong with bacon. Yeah, I'll take some bacon down here too, Mom. No, honey, bacon's too salty for you. But how about I save some for you afterwards, okay? How about I get you some chicken afterwards? Okay. Now, I've got my oven heated to 375 degrees, move back, Harry. I'm gonna put it in my oven and cook it until it's bubbly and hot and the cheese is melted on top. Okay, I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes. But I'm gonna check it at 20. Okay, you guys, come back when it is faux potatoes au gratin. Yes, indeed. I'm super excited with the new baked potato keto chow base soup. You guys, we've got this. Yes, we've got enough so we can do something tomorrow. You know what I can make with this? I can make like a gravy tomorrow to go on top of eggs. Oh, that'd Put be great. Put some bacon in that and make a, a gravy. Yep. You guys come back tomorrow and watch that one too. But you guys, I've got to set the table and get ready to eat our casserole. Harry's giving me camera lessons. I'm going to give him cooking lessons. Go ahead and take it out of the oven. Be careful, it is very hot. I ended up turning it down to 365 degrees because I have a smaller casserole and I cooked it for 25 minutes. It smells really good. You guys, it smells like potatoes in the house. Now, we have to let this cool off. We have to let it cool off. <coughs> Cauliflower does not absorb like potatoes do. So um, this might be a little wetter than what you're used to, but I like it that way. So I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, let it set out for about 10 minutes out of the oven. So come take a look. Come take a look, see. Smells amazing. My whole house smells oh, yeah. amazing. It smells great in here, man. Uh, this smells like potatoes. It does. It does. Ooh, nice. Ooh, you guys, that did set up nice. <coughs> Let me get some for you. Some for me. Wow, that set up very nice. And I've got half of the sauce of the uh, baked potato, keto chow, 
in a container for tomorrow, I'm going to make something delicious with what's left. But I want Harry to do a taste test, but I thought I'd make it look pretty here. I'd put a little bit of cheese. Can you pop? Yep, there she is. She heard the word cheese. Wow, can I have cheese? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm going to put a little bit of bacon on here. We're going to take a picture and then we're coming back, you guys, because we are going to do a taste test. Steve, serious keto, are you ready? We're going to do a taste test. So come on, everybody. Come back to the next segment. Yes, indeed. Okay, Harry's going to do a taste test of my potatoes all gratin. Yes, indeed. Which one's mine? We'll bring it, lift it up, take a smell. What does it smell like? Potatoes. Does it? Yeah, it's crazy. Of course, you smell that. I smell the bacon and the cheese, you know, yeah. too. On top. There we go. Here comes the big. Mmm. Dude! I think you did a really good job. This is really good. Is it? Yeah. Does it taste like potatoes? Yeah. Okay, well, it's... Steve, I think you did a really... Really good job. Mmm. That's crazy. Okay, it's my wow. turn. Yeah, you gotta try it out. Brings it up a notch. Yeah. Does it? That's good. I like mine since Harry likes his. Notice I got my peacock plates. Yep. Hey, oh you guys, I'm telling you, it smells like a loaded baked potato. Mm -hmm. it smells like I'll brought in potatoes all day long in this kitchen. All day long. And I go. think it's the right consistency too. Yeah, that's good, man. Wow, isn't it? Come on. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Oh yeah. Yes, it is. You guys, I am serious. If you don't like turnips, you don't like cauliflower, but you miss potatoes all gratin. You miss potatoes. Run. Don't walk. Go get some baked potato from Keto Chow tonight. Go down in the description below and get 10% discount. It's going to sell out. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you, it's going to sell Once out. Once people start using it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Sally, what do you think of it? What do you think of my au gratin? My potatoes au gratin, Sally, what do you think? Oh, it's good. It's really good, but I don't like it. It tastes like potatoes. You like bacon? There's a pig. Bacon. Oh, my like bacon cheese. Ugh. That's good. I let her have a little bit of bacon and cheese on my plate. She's looking at the au gratin right now. I think she likes it. Anyway, you guys, it's amazing. It's absolutely, you could serve that to anybody that wasn't allergic to cauliflower. Yeah. Who may not like cauliflower, they'll like this if they like potatoes. Trust me. It's delicious. Super easy, super simple. I'm telling you, get some. Make a big cup of it. Hot. Come in from shoveling snow and have some loaded baked potato soup. Yes, indeed. Anyway, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you guys right here tomorrow. I'm gonna make a recipe using baked potato keto chow tomorrow too. Say goodnight, Sal.